My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 74 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. Remember, we are still answering questions on that geometry and trigonometry using the Flash Nenas Jam application. The question we have before us yes, is the midpoint of two points P, S, Y, and Q, eight C's is equals five, eight. The midpoint of this guy and this guy is equal to this. I told you that when you see questions, attempt them one after the other. If you are given midpoint, we know that midpoint is S1 plus S2 over 2, comma, Y1 plus Y2 over 2. This is midpoint. In this case, here is S1, here is Y1, here is S2, here is Y2. Which makes us to have S1 is S, S plus, S2 is 8, plus 8 over 2, comma. Y1 is Y, Y plus, Y2 is 6, plus 6 over 2. So, we are already given the midpoint to be 5 comma 8. What this implies is that for the S part is equals 5 and for the Y part it is equals 8. So you therefore say that S plus 8 over 2 is equals 5. For the Y side you say that Y plus 6 over 2 is equals 8. Eight. So this is the midpoint and these are the coordinates. This is how to answer questions like this. For this part, you simply have S plus 8 is equals 10. Cross multiplying. S is equals 10 minus 8. That is uh, 2. So S is equals 2. You can actually confirm that if you put 2 here, 2 plus 8 is 10 divided by 2 is 5. You see, you get the coordinate of S. For here, y plus 6 is equals 16. y is equals 10. 16 minus 6. If you put 10 here, 10 plus 6 is 16 divided by 2. You get your 8 back. So that is how to answer questions like this. What are we even asked to look for? Okay, S and Y. That is simple now. S is 2 y is 10 that is the correct thing ladies and gentlemen the gradient of the line joining the coordinates s comma 4 and 1 comma 2 is equals 1 over 2 find s ladies and gentlemen if normally we are given these two coordinates to find the gradient, I told you that gradient M, in fact, you can still see that here, is y2 minus y1 over s2 minus s1. Gradient will be, here is s1, y1, s2, y2. y2 is 2 minus y1 is 4 over s2 is 1 s1 is s2 so minus s we are looking for s but i have a good news for you they gave us the gradient which means gradient is equals 2 minus 4 over 1 minus s 
is equals 1 over 2. This is the gradient. This is what we are given. And there are two ends of a diameter of a given circle. They are something like this. Here and here. So this coordinate you are seeing, there are two ends. Here is one end, here is another end. Which means between here and here, we have distance between two points. But what are we asked to look for? We are asked to look for the radius. If these coordinates are distance from here to here, and from here to here is one radius, from here to here is another radius, it means if we can find this distance and divide by two, we are going to get radius. If we can find this diameter and divide by two, we are going to get radius. So, how do we find distance between these points? When we are given coordinates or a coordinate geometry, distance between two points is this formula you can see here. So, the distance from here to here is g is equals S2, S1, Y1, S2, Y2. Let's go with that. S2 is 6 minus, S1 is minus 6 squared plus Y2 is 6 minus Y1 is 1, 1, so squared. Distance is equals 6 minus minus 6. That is 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So here is 12 squared plus 6 minus 1. That is 5. So 5 squared. To give you 144 plus 25. And this will give you 169. So distance is square root of 169 and this is 13 from here to here is 13 the distance between two points your radius will therefore be 13 over 2 13 over 2 that should be 6.5 so 6.5 is the radius meanwhile the distance between two points the two points is 13 meter that is how to answer questions like this. So with this, we come to the end of this episode. I hope you found at least one thing interesting. If you love what you are seeing, why not subscribe to this channel? And why not tell your friends about the Flash Learners YouTube channel? See you in the next episode. Take care of yourself.